In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a cylinder with two threaded cross holes and then to mate two set screws in these cross holes. So to start, we're going to create a cylinder that's one inch OD by three quarter inch ID by one inch tall. So we'll start with a new part. And inside of that part, we'll create a new extruded boss base. We'll sketch it on the top plane. And we'll create two circles for our cylinder, two concentric circles. And we will dimension these. This will be our one inch OD. And then we will have our three quarter inch ID. Now we can extrude our one inch height. Now it's time to add two threaded holes to the side. However, there's no good surface for us to draw on. So in order to create the surface for us to sketch on, we need to create a reference plane. And if you go to the Features tab under Reference Geometry, you see Plane is an option. I find it helpful to first start with an existing plane that I want to be uh, parallel or perpendicular, as the case may be, to the plane I'm going to create. So I'm going to select this right plane here and come over and click on the plane button and then select the OD of the cylinder. And you'll notice I get a, a plane that's tangent to the OD of the cylinder that I can now use. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to spin this around so we can see the main plane. Now I'm going to select that plane and choose create new sketch on it. It's also helpful if the plane is flat that you're working on. So if you come over here and see this new sketch that was created, I'm going to select this option normal to, and that makes it flat to my screen, which is a lot easier to work with. Now I'm just going to drop two points on this plane from which I'm going to create uh, threaded holes. There's one, and there's the other. And the requirements are that they are a quarter inch from the end of the part, so I'm going to go ahead and dimension those, a quarter inch from each end. You'll notice that these points are still blue, meaning they're not fully constrained. It's because they're not aligned this way. They're only aligned from the ends. So now I'm going to take and select the axis center point and one of the points that I created and I hold control and select them both, I now have the option to make them vertical. And if I say OK, you notice that the point, this point is now black, meaning it's fully constrained. Now I can do the same thing between this point and the other point. Uh, select the one, hold down the control key, select the other, and then come over here and again say that they're vertical. Now I'll finish my sketch and I'll turn it a little bit so we can see it. Now those are the two points and we're going to create threads at those two points. So come over to features and select the hole wizard and this time we want threaded holes and we want a tap hole and see inch and this is the size we want 1024. If it was a different size obviously just press the drop down and pick another size. And as far as the end condition, if we pick through all, it's going to go all the way through both sides of the cylinder. We only want these through one side. So instead of picking through all, we're going to say up to next, which will just go up to the next surface, which will be that inside diameter. And all the other options look good. We're going to come over here to positions, and now the surface to draw our threads from, our holes from, is that plane. So just select that plane. Now we just want to take and pick our points. So that is now coincident with that point. We'll left click. Now we go coincident to this point. We left click. And we'll say OK. And now you'll see we have two cross holes that are only going through one side of the cylinder, which is what we wanted. And now lastly, we'll just come over and uh, hide the sketch and hide the plane so we don't have to uh, see it. And now there's our cylinder. Go ahead and save that. And uh, I'm calling this example three. 
I'll call it actually example 3a because I've already done this once. And now uh, we need to put this in an assembly and put two set screws in each of these holes. So to do that we'll create a new assembly and it automatically defaults to the info insert uh, components uh, command and we're going to insert this cylinder okay. and let's turn it so we can see the holes that we're working with and now we need two set screws. I've already downloaded two uh, 1024 uh, by 5 16 inch long set screws from McMaster.com so I'm going to go and find those insert components Come down and say browse and uh, go down to socket head set screw 1024. And we'll pick that and we'll, and we'll use the push pin and we'll drop two of them in and say OK. Now we need to do two mates for each screw. We need to do a concentric mate to the hole and then we need to somehow create a mate for the depth. So here's what we'll do we'll start with the concentric mates. And I'm going to pick the cup of the set screw because that's an easy uh, cylinder to pick up. And notice it's basically facing the wrong way. I want to have the hex side sticking out, so I'll just press this flip around button and it'll flip it around. And then I'll grab the other one and do the same thing. Again, I need to flip it around. Say OK. And now I need to somehow get these surfaces perhaps not exactly tangent to the face because I don't know what I'm placing inside the cylinder so they'd probably stick up at least some amount uh, to the outside and sticks out some amount to the inside but um, I need something I can mate these two so here's what I find is easiest I'm gonna pick the uh, top surface of the set screw I'm gonna come into my assembly here and on my cylinder I'm going to expand it and find that plane that we drew the holes from. And notice it mates it right to that plane. Now remember I said it probably won't go all the way in so I'd like to change this to a distance mate and come down. We'll say they'll stick up about uh, an eighth of an inch. 0.125. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. So now we'll accept that mate and then for this one we can just mate the two uh, Oops, we don't want to collect the helix. We'll make the face of this set screw to the face of the other set screw and have them on the same plane. We'll move together then that way as well if we do any edits. So there we have it. We've got our cylinder with the two set screws appropriately mated to it. Thanks for watching.